Hi guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. As you can see by the title of the video, this is my mid-year inventory. I was going to do an inventory in January and I just had too many issues with my camera. It just wasn't working, so I scrapped it. I didn't do it. I now have a better camera. So I have filmed my entire inventory. I've already filmed it. It took me two days to film it because I pulled out every single product that I own. And I did open every single palette because I did hear you guys when I did my makeup de uh, eyeshadow palette declutter. A lot of you guys, or I should say a few of you guys, weren't happy that I didn't show you guys what the inside of the palettes look like. So I opened up every single face palette, blush palette, eyeshadow palette, you name it. I opened it. I tried to show you guys everything unless you could see through the lid. I didn't try to open those. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, you will see in the video I did a declutter um, probably a couple weeks ago. There were two things that I kept from the declutter and I will let you see those throughout the video. They're not very big things um, but look for those. And then the other thing I like I said, there are so much to my makeup collection that I will try to put timestamps down below if you want to try to jump to certain sections so you can see what they are. So I think that is everything I have for you guys. I'm going to switch the camera angle, see how long it takes me to edit and get this video up. But I hope you guys enjoy watching this collection. At the end of showing you guys everything, be sure to watch that as well because I will go to over and break down all the numbers of what's in my face palettes and I will combine those, like say how many highlighters, individual highlighters I have versus how many are in my face palettes and what the number is combined. So stay tuned for that at the end of me showing you everything that I have. There is one more thing that I did forget to mention before I get into showing you guys my makeup collection. And that is I have had somebody ask me before what my goals are. And typically when I do see these type of inventory videos, I hear people talk about how many they have and what their goal is. I right now do not have any set goals for a number of products. I know I have way too many of just about every single category. Right now what I'm doing is I'm taking, trying to take a full year of panning to see how long it takes me to get through certain products so that I can see what a good number of each item is for me. For example, lotions. It's not a makeup item, but we'll start with lotions. I can go through an eight ounce bottle of lotion in less than three weeks. So for me to have five lotions, that's not very much at all. That's just going to last me just a couple of months where somebody else, it may take them six months to get through a bottle of lotion that is that big. So that's why I haven't set any goals. I'm trying to find out what I use, what I don't, what, I, I, what do I go through fast, what takes me a long time. Once I have figured all of that out, then I will start to set some goals for what I have in my makeup collection. So now with all of that said, Let's go ahead and jump on in and see what I have in my makeup collection. These are all of the setting sprays that I currently have. I started January with 28 setting sprays. I did add two of them to my collection. I got this one as a gift with purchase from e.l.f. and I believe I got this one in my BoxyCharm. So I added two and I did use up eight setting sprays in the past six months which leaves me with these 22 right here. I am currently working on this one, the Morphe and Jeffree Star, and I'm getting ready to roll these into a project pan really soon, and I'm currently working on this Fix Plus Rose one as well. This next group of products I have are my eye bases and my eye primers. At the top row, that I have 17 of the eye bases. Those are from P. Louise. And I had 17 at the beginning of the year. I haven't used any and I haven't bought any, so I still have the original 17. The whole bottom row is my eye primers for my eyeshadow. I did start off the year with nine. I added three. I did give one away, and so I am left with 11. I have a lot of use on this one right here. This one is just a little sample. I should quickly use that one up and just move it on out. And I'm currently working on one of these MAC paint pots. The next category that I have for you are my face primers. I did start off January with 36. I did add two of them. I got this Professional in my BoxyCharm, and I also got this Tarte Double Duty Beauty Primer in my BoxyCharm. 
And I did finish off seven of them, so it has left me with these 31. Now, if you remember, I did tell you that these numbers are as of June 30th. However, since then, I have finished this one. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. And as you can see on this sample right here, there are two right here. I've just put other primers on top of that piece of paper. These are all of the pressed powders that I have. I did start off January with nine. I did use up one, and these are the remaining eight. This one that I did use up was a sample size of this It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I did really enjoy using this one. So there's what that powder looks like right there. This is a Clinique, this is just a uh, blotting powder, I guess, for when you're oily. So it's just a little sample right here. This is the MAC Medium Golden Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Natural. That's what this one looks like. I have the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder, their Miracle Matte Powder. The NYX HD Finishing Powder. This is the Neutrogena Powder that I am currently working on. And then this one is the Paracone Instant Blur Powder. And this one I haven't used yet but this is what that one looks like. These are all of the loose powders that I have. I started off January with 14. I did add four of them to my collection, and that would be these four right here. I did use up six, which leaves me with 12. So this is the Pretty Vulgar Powder, Maybelline Fit Me in 10 Fair Light, 20 Light Medium, 25 Medium, Jeffree Star, this is in Translucent, Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is the Ciate Everyday Vacay, this is their Coconut uh, Setting Powder. Laura Mercier in Translucent, a little sample of the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is the Becca Hydramus Set and Refresh Powder, I really love this one. This is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. As you can see, the powder there is pink. And this one over here is Nikia Joy Cosmetics in Translucent. These are all of my mascaras. I started the year off with 38. I added one, which is this Tarte Big Ego one. I got that in a recent BoxyCharm. I used three. I gave away five, and now I have 31. These seven right here are my colored mascaras. You can see I have two in this shade. This one is brown. This one's purple, coral, and then this one is blue and purple. Then I have a mixture of just different sample sizes and full sizes. A lot of these did come in my BoxyCharm. I honestly think the ones that I purchased are these right here, and I have gotten them as gifts with purchase as well. So these are all of the ones that I have. Since June 30th, like I said, I have 31. However, I have finished this one since then and I'm currently working on these two. This one barely shows up on my lashes, so I'm mixing it with this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Right here I have three different categories of highlighters. The first is my loose highlighters. I started the year with one, I haven't added or used any, and I still have the one. This is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. As you can see, it's kind of a gold color right there. As for liquid highlighters, I started the year with two. I added one. I have used up one that was like this. It was another Cover FX one. And so I'm left with these two. I am currently working on this one in a project. And for cream highlighters down here, I started the year off with four. I added one, which is this one. I did use up one. That was an Ulta Beauty cream highlighter. And so I am left with these four. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick, and this is in the color Rum, and it looks like this. These two are from the brand Oh My Brow. These are both cream highlighters. One is in the shade Bronze, and this one is in the shade Pearl. And this right here is the Farsali Jelly Beam uh, Illuminator. And this one is very creamy, as you can see. So these are all of the 
liquid cream and loose highlighters that I have. These are all of the powder highlighters I have. I started the year off with 24. I did add four to my collection. I used up one and I gave away three, so I am back down to 24. This is the Ciate London Jessica Rabbit highlighter. That one's beautiful. I'm currently working on this Wet n Wild uh, highlighter in Blossom Glow. This is the ABH Amreezy highlighter. I have three of these ColourPop highlighters. This one is in Lunch Money. This is Might Be, and this one is Honeymoon. I have two of these Maybelline highlighters. This one is in 50, and this one is 250 right here. This is the Pretty Vulgar highlighter right here. It's kind of a bronze color. It's called Shimmering Swan. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter in Trophy Wife, which looks like that. This is the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter, and it looks like this. This is the MAC Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighter. This is the Milani Highlighter in Strobe Light. Oh, this one's still sealed. I haven't opened that one yet. I got this Natasha Denona Glow Highlighter. This is All Over Glow. Oops, wrong side looks like this. Now, BoxyCharm messed up and they gave me two of these. And so as a gift for messing up, they did send me this. So I got this one completely for free. I have two of the Physician's Formula highlighters. This one is in Rose Gold. This one is in Pearl. This one is the MAC Cheeky Bronze Mineralized Skin Finishing Powder. You can see I have five Beccas. This is Rose Quartz, Prismatic Amethyst, Opal. This one is another Opal, so I do have two of those. And this one down here is Rose Gold, and it looks like that. These are all of the body glitters I have. I have 10, so that's how I started the year. Haven't used up or added any, so I still have 10. If you guys have any tips or tricks on how to use these, I would greatly appreciate it. These I usually got in kits when I would order like the entire Bretman Rock collection or the entire, what was it, the watermelon collection. So that's how I got a lot of these. So I don't have any ways to really use them. I'm thinking of maybe mixing them in with lotions. These two came with the watermelon set. This one is in Trippin' on Skies. Oh, there. There we go. This one is bring the heat and this one is a bit more of a gold color I can tell they're starting to dry up I don't know if I'm going to be able to get use out of these these two are from Bretman Rock doesn't have a name on the bottom oh it's I'm wet this is from the the blue one that he did so the red one is probably I'm lit and that looks like this This one is Keep It Platonic. Let's see if I can get it open here. It's a white one. This one is called whoops, Star Party. It's a silver glitter. This one is called Disco Lady. Looks like that. Has some big chunky glitter in there. This one is called Wish Me Luck. Another white one with finer glitter particles. This one is called Avenue of the Stars. Kind of has some red and pinks and oranges in there. And this one is called Starfire. Before I get into all of the complexion products like my foundations and concealers and things like that, I did want to quickly jump in here and let you guys know why I have so many multiples of the same brand, same type of foundation, concealer, etc. And it is because I tan. I know I've talked about this a couple times on my channel, but my channel has grown a lot lately. So I did want to insert this in for those of you guys who don't know. I'm going to pop a picture up here on the screen of my tan line from 
uh, I think it was last summer, I tan so easily. So as you can see, I do need multiple colors as I tan. I go through a different foundation color every two and a half to three weeks. So that's why I have multiples of so many different brands. These are two very small categories. At the beginning of the year, this category didn't exist. These are my foundation mixers. I did recently purchase these two from e.l.f. to be able to lighten up some of the foundations that I have so that they work for me currently. This is my powder foundation. I did have two of these. I did give one of them away and now I'm left with this one. This is the MAC Studio Fix Plus in NC20. And it looks like that. Here are all the foundations that I have. I did start the year off with 32. I did add three to my collection and I did use up five, which left me with 30. So let me just go over all of these. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear in 405, 410, 460, 475. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in vanilla. This is the Maybelline Fit Me this is the smooth, dewy and smooth. This is in shade 115, 120, and 315. This is the Pure Lee's uh, Perfect Glow BB Cream. It has an SPF of 30 in the shade light. These are two of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. One of them is in 4.0, the other is in 3.5. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I got this one in my BoxyCharm. I have three of the Flower Light Illusion Foundations. I did recently just finish one. This is Warm Beige L4, Natural Beige M1, and Classic Tin M3. I have three of the ELF Foundations. This one is in Light Ivory, Vanilla, and Linen. This is Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This one is in Y235. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in, uh, I think it's NC35, and this is also an NC35. This is the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Stick. Couple samples of the Too Faced Born This Way. I got a smaller sample of the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour. This is the Airborean CC Cream, the Clinique Fit Workout Makeup, a small sample of the Makeup Forever, Estee Lauder Double Wear, and then a sample of the Bounce Foundation. And I just realized as I was about ready to clean these up that this one rolled over. This is the MAC uh, Studio Fix Plus SPF of 15, and this one is in NC42. These are all of my concealers. I did start the year off with 24. I added two, I used up five, and these are the 21 remaining that I have. This is the It Bye Bye Under Eye uh, Full Coverage Concealer, two of the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealers, Juvia's Place, Pretty Vulgar, I have one Morphe left, Tarte um, Shape Tape, two of the NYX HD Concealers, and two of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. This L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear is the one I'm currently working on. Three of the Maybelline Ancient Instant Age Rewind, Three of the Jeffree Star, this one is a color corrector in peach. One from Dragon Beauty, this is another color corrector. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And this is the Dr. Jart Sikapair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. For this next category, I wasn't quite sure whether to put this in with foundations or with concealers because these are the Danessa Myricks Cream Covers and they are a foundation and concealer combined into one. At the beginning of the year I had six, I used one, and now I am down to five. This one right here is a color corrector in TP02. These two are in the shade TY01. This is TY02, and this one right here is TO01. These are all of my eyeliner pencils. I did start the year off with 42. I used up three, added three more, so I am still at 42. All of these down here are from Urban Decay. These are the NYX Jumbo Pencils. These are other NYX eyeliners right here. I have one from Lancome. All of these are ColourPop Creme Gel Liners. 
these are the three that I got in a set from my BoxyCharm. These are from St. Lux. This one is from Jean de Bleu. This one is from Appeal, Alme, Bodyography. This one is KVD Vegan Beauty. And this one is MAC. These are my liquid eyeliners. I did start the year off with four. I added one. I haven't used any up, so now I have five. These two are from Mary Kay. Got a teal and a purple one. These two are from Morphe. One of these is a plain black and the other one is a black with glitter. And this is the one that I just got in my BoxyCharm. This is from KVD Vegan Beauty. These are all of my eyeliner pens. These are the type that have the felt tip or the brush tip on them. I started the year off with 14. I didn't add any, used up one, so now I have 13. This one right here is from Too Faced. This is the Tarte Man Eater. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. This one is It Superhero. These two are Hank and Henry, both in Blickety Black. These six right here are from ColourPop. I've got one in yellow, red, green, blue, black, and white. And this one is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. These are all of my eyeliner pots. I'm not sure what else to call them. But these are the types that are in a little glass jar and you take a brush and you apply them to your eyes that way. These are my favorite way to put on eyeliner. I know I have lots of other pencils and pens and things like that, but I do enjoy these the most. I started the year off with 12. I haven't used up any, haven't added any, so I still have 12. These 10 right here are from ColourPop. As you can see, you can see the different colors I have right here on the lids. This one is from Natasha Nina. I got this at a makeup class. This one is the MAC Pro Longwear Fluid Line in Black Track. This one is almost empty. These are all of my brow products. I started the year off with 17, added four through BoxyCharm, used two, gave one away, so now I'm at 18. All of these products here on the end are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These two are their Brow Wiz, one's in dark brown, one's in chocolate. This is their clear brow gel, and both of these are their brow gel in dark brown. This is the Benefit Gimme Brows in number six. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 4.5. Both of these I'm currently working on. These two are the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Medium. This is the Urban Decay Brow Endowed. This is a dual-ended product, so it counts as two. One side is a primer, the other is color. These, oh, this next one is from the brand Mellow. These four right here are from Billion Dollar Brows. This is a dual-ended. This one it has a concealer and a highlighter. These are two brow pencils in dark brown, and this is their brow gel. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty. This is one of those um, eyeliner pots in dark brown. And this is the Iconic London brow product. This one is one of those cushion brow products. If I can get it open here. If you, I haven't opened this yet, so it is still sealed. And then it does have like a little spoolie and a brush to help you draw your brows on. And just dip it in there and draw your brow hairs on. So these are all of my brow products. These are all of my bronzers. I did start the year off with 22. I haven't added any or used up any, so I still have 22. These two are both Bare Minerals. This one is in Fair to Light. This one is in the color Tan. These two are Essence. This one is in 01 Natural, and this one is 02 Sunny. These two are from Milani. This one right here is 01. This one right here is 03. These three are the Butter Bronzers from Physician's Formula. This one is Light Bronzer. This one is in Sunkissed Bronzer, and this is Just Bronzer. These three right here are all from Too Faced. This is the Milk Chocolate this one is the Chocolate Soleil, and this one is the Sun Bunny. These three right here are from Ulta. This one is in Warm. This one right here is in Cool, and this is their Baked Bronzers. These two are from Morphe. This one is Megastar, and this one is an Icon. 
This one right here is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. As you can tell, that's the one I'm currently working on. This is Bare Minerals Bronzer, and this looks like that. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer. This one is in light. Looks like that. And these two are from BH Cosmetics. This one is in Bronze Babe. And this one right here is in Golden Gal. These are all of the blushes that I currently have. I did start the year off with 17. I did add seven. I finished one and I did give three away. So I am now left with 20. These six right here are the Maybelline Fit Me blushes. This one is in Coral. This one is in Peach. This one is Plum. This one is Rose. This one is Berry. And this one is Pink Rose. This is one of the blushes I added. Now I did declutter a palette and I can uh, put a picture up on the screen real quick of what that palette looked like and I did decide to depot one of the blushes So this blush is from the pure midnight masquerade face palette, and it is in the shade hidden secret I got this Becca blush right here in the shade Snapdragon and that looks like there This is the buxom blush in Mykonos. This is flower beauty. This one is um, pre peach primrose this one is in Sweet Pea. This is the two, uh, sorry, Physician's Formula Butter Blush. And this one is in the shade Vintage Rouge. This is MAC Blush Baby. This is a smaller sample of NARS Orgasm. This one is Natasha Denona. This is their highlighting blush. In, just as Mini Bloom. It looks like this. These two are from ColourPop, their collab with Makeup Shayla. This one is under is called Construct. And this one is called Whistle While You Work. These two are from the Mauve collection. This one is called Coast to Coast. This one is called Catch My Vibe. And this last one I have is from Hourglass. This is in Diffused Heat. So there's that one right there. These are all of my lip scrubs. I did have five. I haven't added any and I did use one up. So these are the remaining four I have. This is the Too Faced Peach Lip Scrub. This is the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. This one is in Blueberry Pie. This one is from ColourPop. It's our Lippy Scrub. This one is in One in a Melon. And then I do have this Hemp's Sugarcane and Papaya Exfoliating Herbal Lip Scrub. These are all of the lip balms I have. I did start the year off with 16. I added three, but I have used up four, so now I am down to 15. Over here I have a Burt's Bee. This is a lip balm in Mango, a Blistic Lips Balm. I have a Chapstick from the Marriott, another one in the flavor Malibu. Two of the Hemp's Lip uh, the lip, this is their lip balm, and then I have two of these Bite Beauty. This is the Agave Lip Mask, so I have added both of these in here. I have the Too Faced Peach Lip Balm, three of the Jack Black Lip Balms. This is Black Cherry, Asian Pear, and Natural Mint. Two of the uh, OES Lip Balms, and this is the Tarte Sugar Rush Lip Balm in Peony. The next category that I have are my lip glosses and my lip toppers. I did start off with 63. I did add seven, I used up six, so now I'm at 64. I am missing a few of them for this picture right here. They're all mixed together. I haven't separated out my lip products very well, and so I'm struggling trying to find them through all of the other lip products I have. But this is a good picture of the amount that I have and the different brands. I have the Fenty, I have ABH, I have MAC Lip Glass, some ColourPop, too Faced, NARS, this is more ColourPop right here, Jeffree Star, Dominique Cosmetics, Huda Beauty, this one is Becca, this one is Too Faced, Alamar, Tarte, these are Ulta Beauty, another Too Faced, these are all Morphe, Capari, ColourPop So Juicy, Ulta Beauty, 
I've got some Buxom throughout here, and this one is a peel, and then sleek shattered glass. So these are the majority of the lip gloss and lip toppers that I have. These are all of the lip pencils that I have. I started the year off with 32. I added two, and I have used up one, so now I am up to 33. This right here, these actually these four right here are all from ColourPop. You can tell that I am working on this one. This one is from Be Bella Cosmetics. I'm also working on this. All of these are from Morphe. These are from Jeffree Star. This right here and this one right here are from Bodyography. This one is from Jean de Bleu. This one is Steve Laurent. This one is from... This one is, oh, Gerard Cosmetics, and then these are all from NYX. Here are all of my lipsticks. I started the year off with 62. I did add one, I used up 12, and now I have 51. Now I will tell you that I do count all of my samples as one. So this right here is for lipstick samples. These are from Sephora, and then I did have a dozen from NARS. These are done, and I do still need to work on these four right here. So those are eight right there. I am missing one, but it'll turn up, I'm sure, when I do my liquid lipsticks. So these are from Bite Beauty. I believe this is Ulta. This is also Ulta. This one is still in the box. This is Fenty Beauty. This is Helen E. Shiseido, Morphe. These are all Too Faced. Milani. This one is Becca. This is another Too Faced. Fair Minerals. This is Bite Beauty. Here is another Ulta stick. I put these pencils in with lipsticks. This is Marc Jacobs. These four are NARS. This little guy right here is I'm not Lancome. Here we go. These are all Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one right here um, is Dior. And these six right here are Urban Decay. This is a Maybelline, I believe. These are NYX. This is Tristique. And these two are ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I should say that out of the 12 that I did finish, eight of them were in this NARS sample, and then I had a three pack that, I forget what brand they were, oh, it was MAC, so I did finish those, so that's where 11 of them came from, and then I did finish one that was like this. It was a Bite Beauty lipstick that was in the shade Chai. The next group of products I have to show you are all of my liquid lipsticks. I have so many of these that I'm gonna have to switch out several times to be able to show all of them to you. I started off the year with 156. I have added three, I have used up three, and I still have 156. So what you're looking at right here are all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Here is the second batch of liquid lipsticks that I have. I did have to switch up the background. I am filming on my ottoman and some of these started to leak and get all over my ottoman, so I just had to throw a towel down. So this is my next batch right here I have from ColourPop. A lot of these are their Ultra Lips, some of them are their Blotted Lips, and then I have Too Faced, their Melted Matte, some of their Melted Latex, and then a couple of this type. Here is the next set of liquid lipsticks that I have. This is KVD Vegan Beauty, Dosa Colors, this is Mana Kadar. This one is Ulta. I believe these are probably Ulta as well. This is NYX. These two are NYX as well. This is Adiz Huda Beauty. Um, I do have three Stila's actually right here. Milani. And this one is Ulta again. I did find two more of the Melted Matte from Too Faced. Smashbox, Ofra, Bare Minerals are right here. Gerard Cosmetics, Estee Lauder, and NARS. Before I get into this next batch, I did want to show you that I did find the last lipstick. As you can see, it is super tiny, which is why it was misplaced, but this is the Jane Iredell Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain, right there. So this is the next batch I have of liquid lipsticks. I do have three of the Ciate Glitter Flips, KVD Vegan Beauty, YSL, Julep, Bite, Makeup Forever. This is from um, Juice Beauty. This one might be Sephora. This is Bobbi Brown, CoverGirl, Iconic, these are Physician's Formula, Ulta, and then all of these are Ulta right here, and that one is Bare Minerals. 
And this is my final batch of liquid lipsticks. All of this is Jeffree Star. So these I did get from Morphe. That's why these two look a little bit different. I did have the Equality Bundle, I believe is what it is called. And then he did a blue bundle. You can see that I do have all the different blue shades here. And then I did, a cup, did get a couple of his collections when he released them. So these are all the face palettes that I have. I started the year off with 30 of them. I did add three, but I gave 10 of them away. So these are the remaining 23 that I have. This one is from Naked Cosmetics. This is a highlighter palette. It's a holographic highlighter collection. And I do use these in my lotions, so I only have one color left in here. This is the Alamar Cosmetics. This is their blush trio in Fair Light. And so there's the three blushes. This is the Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette, and that looks like this. I have this Park Avenue Princess Tarte Palette. It has four bronzer shades and then two face powders in it. Next, I have this MAC Palette. This is their Star Dipped Face Compact in Light. That's what that one looks like. I do have this Milani. This is their Shimmering Face Palette, which has these eight highlighters in it. I do have two of these Cover FX Blush Duos. This first one is in the color Pink Dahlia. And the second one is in the color Mojave, Mojave Mauve. I have this Too Faced Natural Face Palette, which is full of blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I have the Hourglass. This is their uh, lighting edit. This is the ghost one that they did this past Christmas. And then I have this, I bought the companion one, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Quad. I do have this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. This is in Berry Adore, and it looks like this. I do have the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. I also have the Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. And I do have her Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. This is a Galactic uh, Skin Glow Duo in Moonlight. This one I am currently working on. There was a cream highlighter here that is gone and I'm working on the cream blush. And then I have this Ofra, this is the Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. Let's see, where was I? So, Too Faced Coco Contour Palette. I just got this in my BoxyCharm. This is the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. That's what that looks like. I have the Cover FX. This is their Perfector Face Palette in Light Medium. I have the ABH uh, Dream Glow Kit. And the colors that are in here are very similar to the colors that are here in this Naked Cosmetics palette. And then I do have two of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. These are all highlighter palettes. This is a Platinum Ice. And this one is the 24 Karat. I do have two different categories right here. On the end, I have my eyeshadow sticks. I did start the year off with one, and then I added another one. I got this one as a gift with purchase. This is the Lori, Laura Mercier Caviar Stick, and this one is from e.l.f. The other category I have right here is my liquid eyeshadows. I started off with 28, haven't added any. I did use up one of the Stila Glitter and Glow, so I have 27 left. These three on the end right here are from BH Cosmetics. These are the five Stila Glitter and Glows that I have left. Six right here are from Morphe. These three right here are the ColourPop Supernova Eyeshadows. These three are from Be Perfect Cosmetics. This one is from Ciate London. These three are from Too Faced. And these three on the end are from Smith & Colt. These are all of my loose glitters along with the glitter glues or primer. 
I do have these two from Too Faced and then a uh, glitter primer from NYX. I started off with three. I haven't used or added any, so I still have three. And with the loose glitters, I have 14. I haven't used any or added any, so these are the 14 I have. All of these 11 right here are NYX glitters, and these three right here are from P. Louise. This one is in the shade A Sprinkle of Passion. This one is A Hint of Desire, and this one is a pinch of seduction. So these are all sealed. I haven't opened any of them up. You can see they have a sticker over here. So none of these have been used. They're all waiting to be used. These are all of my eyeshadow singles. I did start the year off with 65 and I did add 16. I finished one, I decluttered one, and I gave one away. And so I am left with 78 single eyeshadows. These across the top are the pigments. These are the uh, Kathleen Lights collab with ColourPop. This is her Zodiac collection. These four are from MAC. These were their magnetic um, cream eyeshadows. It was a release they did at Christmas, this past Christmas. These two are ColourPop Jelly Mutt shadows and all the rest here are Super Shock shadows. These two are from Ace Bouti. This is from Kat Von D or KVD Vegan Beauty as it's now called. This is from Nomad and it is this purple shade. I got this as a gift from P. Louise. This is called the Glow For Me Baby. I thought about putting this in the highlighter section, but to me this is probably work better as an eyeshadow. This is a pigment, just a loose pigment from Soraya's Cosmetics. And this is from Ofra in the shade Bliss. I do have these eight right here. These are all from Colored Rain. And then this last palette, I have a mixture. Some of these are ColourPop, most of them are MAC. This one is Natasha Denona. And a couple ColourPop ones here. So those are all of my single eyeshadows. The final category that I have are eyeshadow palettes. I did start the year off with 156. I have added 33 through purchases and BoxyCharm. I did declutter two and I gave away 52. So I am down to 135. And when I did my declutter video, I had a lot of you guys tell me that you were a little disappointed that I didn't show you what my palettes look like. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. I'm gonna lay out a whole series of palettes and then open them up so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and start with Morphe. This is the 25L. This one is the Live In Color. And it is this rainbow palette right here. This is the 39S, such a gem palette. This is the James Charles palette. This one is the Stunning Vibes 35V palette. It looks like this. This is the uh, Boss Mood palette. This was the Obviously the Bronze Goals palette looks like this, and the 35i Icy Fantasy looks like that. These are Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. This is Jackie Ina, Norvina, Alyssa Edwards, Modern Renaissance, Subculture, Sultry, Carly Bible, Amreezy, Soft Glam, this Prism, and Riviera. And this is what all of the palettes look like when they are open. Tried to cover up the mirror so it wouldn't blind you guys, but there's a look at the inside of all of those palettes. These are the rest of my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. I have volumes 1, 2, and 3 of the large collections and volumes 1, 2, and 3 of these small ones. And this is what the palettes all look like when they're open. These are all of my Too Faced palettes. I got the Chocolate Gold, Gingerbread Spice, Extra Spicy, Sweet Peach, Too Faced Natural Matte, White Peach, Just Peachy Mattes, Too Faced Sugar Cookie, Hot Buttered Rum. This is the Razzle Dazzle, <laughs> Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette and the Palm Springs Dreams. I tried to open all of these at once and just do a layout for you guys but these won't open fully, so let me just quickly go through them. This is the Sweet Peach Palette, Gingerbread Extra Spicy, just the Gingerbread Spice, the Chocolate Gold, 
natural matte, white peach, just peachy, sugar cookie, hot buttered rum, razzle dazzle berry, and the Palm Springs Dream. These are my Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes and my BH Cosmetics, Daisy Marquez, the BH Cosmetic Color Festival, Urban Decay On The Run Shortcut Palette, Naked Cherry, Naked Heat, and the Born To Run. And this is what the inside of each of those palettes looks like. These are my Natasha Denona palettes, and I only have one Marc Jacobs palette, so I toss that in here. This is the Safari palette, Leela, Sunrise Love Palette. This is Cranberry, Mini Leela, Retro Gold, and this is the Marc Jacobs Electric Palette. And here's what all of those palettes look like open. This is the first part of my Juvia's Place palettes. I believe I have 20 of them. Nubian Coral, the Nubian, Afrique, the Saharan, the Violets, the Nudes, the Chocolates, the Berries, the Masquerade Mini, Magic Mini, Nomad, Tribe, Nubian 2, and Wahala. This is what all of the palettes look like on the inside. They're kind of going off the screen a little bit. So let me show you this one. And I think you guys can see the rest, but the only other one I can think of is maybe this one that's hard to see a little bit. And these are the last five Juvia's Place palettes I have. The Zulu, the Warrior 3, the Warrior, the Saharan 2, and the Warrior 2. And here's what those palettes look like on the inside. These are all of my Jeffree Star palettes. Uh, this one is Alien. This one is Bloodlust. This is his Mini Controversy palette. This is the Mini Jawbreaker. This is the Cremated palette. This is the Jawbreaker palette. This is his Thirsty palette. Then we have Blood Sugar. The Conspiracy palette. Take that off. And Blue Blood. These are all of my Violet Voss palettes. This one is the Coral Crush. This is the HG Sugar Crystals. Let's see if I can get that out. And then Best Life 1 and 2. And these open up like this. And just toss that. And then here's Best Life 2. Next, I have a random assortment of eyeshadow palettes that I probably just have one from, from each brand. And I did find another Juvia's Place palette. This is the Festivals. This one is the Certify Infinity 2 palette, the Affinity palette 2. This is Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. This is one that was in my declutter video. I originally decluttered 51, and I just couldn't part with this one, so I did take it back. This is the only palette that I took back, so I only decluttered 50 instead of 51. I do really want to try this formula, so I decided to keep this one. This is the e.l.f. J. Kissett to the Rescue palette. Smith and Colt, this is the Lilac Flash, and this is a highlighter, I believe this is a highlighter right here. Je Jessica Rabbit Ciate London palette. This is the Ulta XO NYX palette. 
This is the Tartist Pro palette. I just got this in my BoxyCharm. I've never tried the Tarte formula, so I do want to try this out. This is Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette. I did talk about how I went to the makeup class with Stacey Marie. And don't mean to blind you guys, but she did sign my palette right there. And I forgot to include that there are two highlighters right here in this palette. And this is Fenty Beauty's Moroccan Spice. That looks like this. These are my Bellanoia, I believe that's how it's pronounced, eyeshadow palettes, as well as the Ace Bouti. This is the Lady Brazil palette. This is the Trophy eyeshadow palette. This is Desert Safari. This is the uh, Grandiose palette. And this one is the Scarlet Dusk palette. These are the four Milani palettes I have. This one is Bold Obsessions. This one is Most Love Mattes. This one is Pure Passion. And this one is Soft and Sultry. The last set of palettes I have for you guys is ColourPop. This is the largest number of palettes I have from any one brand. Let me just go through these really quick. This is Main Squeeze. Ooh La La. Strawberry Shake. Orange You Glad. Baby Got Peach. Uh huh, honey. Just my luck. Mint to be. Blue moon. It's my pleasure. Lilac you a lot. Going coconuts. Smoke Show, the uh, ColourPop and Makeup Shayla collab, Proceed with Caution, this is the Blush Crush, Lovebird, and Making Mauves. Here is the next set of ColourPop palettes I have. These three are in the tie-dye collection. This one is In a Trance. Miss Bliss. Aura and Out. This one I believe is called the Headliner Palette. They don't sell it in a collection like this anymore, but I believe you can get the singles. Butter Me Up. California Love, Bye Bye Birdie, Gimme Butterflies, and this one is the Sweet Talk palette, which I believe is my favorite ColourPop palette. And these are the last five palettes that I have. This is the ColourPop Kathleen Lights collab called So Jaded. This one is She's a Rainbow. This is the Disney collection. This one is the Disney Villains Misunderstood. And then this is another um, Makeup Shayla ColourPop collab. This is her Perception palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my makeup collection. Uh, so now let's go over the numbers from my face palettes. I do have four face palettes. I have 23 of them. In the 23 face palettes, I have 34 blushes, 13 bronzers, five pressed powders, and 50 highlighters. So if I were to count those all by pan and combine them with the number of individual highlighters, bronzers, pressed powders, and blushes that I have up above, let me go over those numbers. So I have 
for blushes, 34 in face palettes, and I have 20 single blushes, so that means I have 54 blushes. That is way too much. For bronzers, I have 13 in face palettes and 22 single bronzers, so I have 35 bronzers. Pressed powders, I have five in face palettes, eight uh, individual ones, so I have a total of 13 pressed powders. Highlighters, I have 50 in palettes. I, and I have 24 individual highlighters, which means I have 74 highlighters. The only thing that's gonna save me from these highlighters is I do love to crush them up and put them on my lotions, so I will go through these. I will use all of them. That's why I haven't decluttered any of them. I will find a way to use these up. So that is everything that I have for you guys. I, like I said before, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do have a lot of panning content. Not only do I have a lot of makeup, but I do love to use that up. I love to keep track of it, and I'm probably in about 10 different project pans right now. So if that sounds like something that is interesting to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you guys so much for stopping by.